Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video showing the PS4 remote play on the NVIDIA Shield Portable. I've never played this game, so... But, so, once you show that mapped through, you hold this on the NVIDIA Shield. And then this pops up and then you just map it and I mapped it as best as I can because the app somehow just removes the buttons after a certain bit for instance if you're not touching the touch screen or I already have the input in it goes away so let's say if I even hold that and try to do that then that's how you map it you know what I'm saying and it becomes easier for you to map stuff. So you start off with like one big one right there. And the reason I'm holding it and trying this game out because it was easier to mess with and edit. So tap that and then hold it, move, and then you can center it better. Boom. Hold that. And now, just move a little bit to the side. This one, you can move a little bit more up. Move, move it a little bit too up. So like that. All right, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit more center. That was already pretty good, but just trying to show you guys. How to map it so you can use the actual physical controllers. Cause I know I personally do not. Oh, sorry. And then you go hit back. Maybe I held on to it too long. It's reloading. All right, so that's L two. That's me pressing L one. This is R one. That one don't do nothing. Okay, that's what that is. Alright. So we're gonna try doing... Come on, move around. How get out of the, the crutch? Or is it that just not responding? Okay, then. Let me see if I actually could get it back. Well, it was working. Let me try it. Disconnecting and connecting again. Maybe that would work. Now I have the settings at highest, so like 1080p. Okay, so it works. It was just glitching off for a second, but you see how I got it working, guys. If you need a more in-depth video, let me know, but I think I was clear enough. I've never played this game, so. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this and hopefully it was informative. I will be doing the same thing for the Shield tablet and the other devices like the Mochi i7s and GPD if able. So stay tuned guys for the next video.